Glad to have you with us here on Ravens Rundown, powered by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here as we break down day number two for your Baltimore Ravens. I'll give you my grade in just a bit, but first, let's start off with the third round selection. Adisa Isaac, the edge rusher from Penn State at 93 overall, is the pick by the Baltimore Ravens. Now, we talked a lot on this channel for the last couple of months about the Ravens potentially selecting Chop Robinson. And I know a lot of you would have liked to head Chop Robinson. And the Ravens, things worked out fine, not getting Chop Robinson, obviously, with Nate Wiggins, the selection here. But I have good news for you. If you wanted Robinson, Isaac, his teammate, was actually more productive than Chop Robinson was at Penn State. They may have gotten a better player here, potentially. We'll explain more coming up on today's show. Let's uh, tell you more about this uh, selection here of what the Baltimore Ravens have done. Uh, one of the big problems that Isaac had previously, before 2023, was missed tackles. He did a much better job of that this past season. A big jump with that and also run defense too. 23 years old from Brooklyn, New York. A senior this past season. Had a chance to come out to draft last year. Ultimately, Decided to stay in uh, school this past season. 6'4", 247. He was 235 at his pro day. And our scouting report includes a high-energy player with great athleticism and quickness off the snap. Active hands, but doesn't always know what to do with them. Kind of like Ricky Bobby, right? What do I do with my hands? Uh, he'll figure it out. Ricky Bobby figured it out. Isaac can too. Good snap quickness. Athletic ability is good. I mean, good pedigree, right? We see that from these James Franklin coach players at Penn State where they tend to uh, really show off that athleticism, and he does the same. Testing was at late 4.7440, 34.5-inch vertical. Um, his shuttle speed, 4.39. Active, high-energy player. A very, very mature kid. Uh, they're 23 years old. And a lot of effort as well. If you're John Harbaugh, I imagine that as he was in the war room, this is a guy he probably fell in love with. And other coaches, this Ravens staff probably felt the same way. He uh, is the guy that you want in your locker room with that, not just the athleticism, but a good locker room guy, a good leader uh, that he brings to the table for this Baltimore Ravens team there. A first-team All-Big Ten selection this past year was third-team All-Big Ten in 2022. We mentioned his numbers being more productive than Chop Robinson. 37 tackles, seven and a half sacks this past season, 33 pressures, and one forced fumble. A very good year for Isaac there out of Penn State. Quality pick, and we've talked a lot throughout this draft of not only looking for best available, but taking care of needs at the same time, trying to balance out the two, right? There was a glaring hole when Jadavian Clowney left town. What were the Ravens going to do? Was this team going to try to go get another veteran pass rusher for cheap? Instead, they invest. They go young with this. And I like this move to go young with Isaac at this spot rather than recycling uh, veterans like the Ravens have done over the last couple of years. They make an investment for a guy that they should call upon for many years to come. The scouting report from the Athletics' Dane Brugler. Let's read this to you. He said the following, Isaac needs to mature his approach to be more than a flash player, but with his length, energy, and athletic tools, he can become an impactful edge presence for a defensive coordinator who continues to unlock his potential. The Ravens have been very good about getting the most out of their defensive players. Brugler had about a second or third round grade, number 65 overall, so incredible value for Baltimore to get him towards the end of the third round at 93. So I like this pick for the Baltimore Ravens. This seems to be uh, a solid pick. And so far, the Ravens doing a very good job through their first three picks two days into this year's draft. I like what we've seen so far at this point. I'll get to my grade here in just a bit. Uh, but before we do any of that, folks, want to make sure y'all are subscribed to the channel as – we're not slowing down. Day three tomorrow, we're going to break down every single pick here on the channel. And our coverage doesn't stop there here on Ravens Rundown. We're going to continue things throughout the offseason as well. 
as we talk OTAs and rookie mini camps and get you all set for training camp. They'll be here before we know it. Join the family now. Help us reach our next goal of 16.5K subscribers for the latest happenings on your favorite team all offseason long, youtube.com slash Ravens TV. Today's show is sponsored by Game Time. Game Time, the place to go for the best seats in the lowest prices guaranteed. Whether you're looking for tickets to sporting events, concerts, theater productions, and more, Game Time has got it all. And the thing with Game Time, what's so cool, is the prices drop as the event gets closer. So if you decide on a whim, I want to go to the Orioles game tonight, you can do so and save a big chunk of change with Game Time when you do so. Pick the event you want to go to, then you pick the seat, see if you like the seat or not, might stumble upon a flash deal, and then from there you're checking out on Game Time with all major credit card providers, uh, as well as Apple Pay, Google Pay, Venmo, and more. And we're offering you $20 off your first purchase when you use the promo code CHATSPORTS at checkout. Download Game Time today. Terms and conditions do apply. $20 off at checkout when you use the promo code chat sports. The link is in the comments and the description of today's video. All right, so we told you about Isaac, the third-round pick at 93rd overall, the third pick by the Ravens so far to this point as they began things with Nate Wiggins, the corner out of Clemson at the end of the first round. And then in the second round, they go Roger Rosengarten, the offensive tackle from the University of Washington. And now you get Isaac here with this pick. So far, this has been a very good draft for the Baltimore Ravens. And a, a lot of you have said, you know, when it, when it comes to this offseason, there's a lot of confidence when it comes to Eric DaCosta. Let EDC cook is what I see the flock posting on social media on X and on Facebook and all that. And EDC, to his credit, he's cooking. Look, this was, we're going to be honest, a tough assignment for the Baltimore Ravens to try to regroup and get this team in position um, with all that they lost in free agency, right? And remember, they didn't have a ton of cap space to work with either to go sign free agents. They've had to invest young. And so far, what I've seen through the first two days I think we're looking at two starters in Nate Wiggins and Rosengarten, guys that can start day one for this team. And then I think we're looking at with Isaac here, somebody that's going to be a rotational player and has got the chance to compete and could eventually become a starter maybe by the end of the season here. So credit to EDC, John Harbaugh, the Ravens scouting department. It's one of the best, if not the best, in the National Football League. They're doing their homework. They're getting the job done. And... Tonight, although there, there wasn't any trades made, the Ravens stayed where they were at with both picks, I think you can look back at tonight and you say, this is going well. Like, when we all go to sleep here and look forward to day three tomorrow, we can feel confident about how this draft is going so far for the Baltimore Ravens to this point. The, the Roger Rosengarten pick, you have to imagine, was my personal favorite of the three. I mocked it, not once, but twice here on the channel. So, selfishly, that was my, my favorite pick. But it does address a big need for this team. And think about the value here, too. Think about this here, folks, okay? In all three picks, you got players that I could argue were not expected to be available with all three picks, right? Rosengarten, some people had as a high second-round pick. Wiggins definitely wasn't supposed to be available at 30. And then Isaac here, we showed you the number on him. This was somebody that we had projected as a much higher overall player than where he fell for the Ravens at their pick. So to me, I'm feeling really good about where the Ravens are at and where they're headed for tomorrow. Uh, job is going very well to this point. Obviously, still need to go find some receiver help out there, but there's a lot of depth in the NFL draft when it comes to the receiver's in this year's class. I think so far things are going good. I want you guys to grade it for me. Give me your grade. What do you think of what the Ravens have done? My grade, I got to go with an A for the second straight day. And believe me, I am not an easy grader, okay? But I got to go with an A myself. Give me your grade in the comments section, A, B, C, D, or F. Let us know what you think of what the Baltimore Ravens have done so far to this point through day two. Let us know what you think. The grade's an A for me. I feel very confident. I 
think this team is headed in the right direction. And, and I'll say this, one more note before we kind of wrap up here. The Ravens, we've talked about the last several weeks on the channel, about the goal is to keep pace with Kansas City, right? To continue to build this roster, to be on par with that team, to compete in the AFC and to try to get that ultimate goal of the Super Bowl here. And if we're comparing to what they've done to KC's done, the Ravens are, are holding their own. They're holding serve, if you will. Before we go, one final question I want to ask you guys. Who should the Ravens draft on day three? Who do you want to see tomorrow end up as a Baltimore Raven? Look, day three is going to be important. Very pivotal for this team. Let me know what you think. Subscribe now to Ravens Rundown as we continue with more Ravens coverage Throughout the rest of the weekend, we're certainly not slowing down. Subscribe now. We'll see you later on here on Ravens Rundown.